Howdy! I'm Kreenife and Crypto Witch. Today's topic is Dirty Pipe. This video has three topics. First of all, I'll show you the impact of the vulnerability. The second topic is the wireframe of the vulnerability using some short videos. And finally, I'll explain the source code of the location that caused this vulnerability. In short, this vulnerability is prevent escalation. In more details, the files can be written without right permission. For example, ETHOS password is not writable for normal user privileges. But by using this vulnerability, you can write your ETHOS password and get the root permission without password. Let's check the behavior. Let's sort out the current situation first. I cannot run sick boot command without password. And I cannot write to ethos password file without password too. Now I will run exploit ethos password one OTZ command. It worked okay. I'll check ethos password file and you can confirm ethos password X is deleted and sudo z command is runnable without password and I can write to it as a password without password okay in summary, I could get a root privilege without a password. Okay, next, I show you why a normal user can relate at the password without password. To explain this vulnerability, I have to introduce pipe buffer and splice to you. I think almost all people watching this video have used pipe on your shell like this. And the pipe transfers dead from the left hand side to the right hand side. In detail, pipe uses ring buffer to prevent data jams. This video shows the behavior of ring buffer. In the lighting phase, a red needle goes clockwise. And the leading phase, a blue one goes clockwise red. When much data is written in the ring buffer, the green area is overwritten by a white area. To use space effectively, ring buffer merges data chunks in one area. Of course, when the space is not enough, ring buffer uses the next area. Here, I switch the topic and show you the spread command behavior. The spread command sends data by using ring buffer. First, read data from disk to page cache, and the ring buffer refers page cache address at one area. Next, read page cache data via ring buffer. These behaviors are complete in kernel space, so it's effective. But if the error is merged, the page cache will be rewritten. So the Linux kernel should not merge this area by using such flags. The vulnerability is actualized because the flag management is not good. Let's look at the vulnerable case. First, freeze the data by using typical pipe use case. As the result, pipe flag can merge its flag in all areas. Next, read the file and reference page cache to ring buffer using express command. Note that the flag is still pipe buffer can match. Finally, send data to the pipe as a typical pipe use case. This red data will be merged to the page cache, and the page cache will be rewritten. Then the file is updated without privilege. Let's investigate in detail. The Linux kernel source code version is 5.13 today. Okay, let's find the pipe buffer from the right system call. Do you know how to search system call functions? They are syscall define macros in the Linux kernel source code. Syscall define video right. Okay, it's found. And the file name is fs slash read write c. Okay. And I have to use uh, Elixir Bootly in this case because it's very useful to find the definition of the functions. This is Elixir Bootly and 5.13.
Okay. And find lead right dot C. Dot C. Okay. And this code define. See? Right? Okay. And three means the number of the arguments. In this case, FD, buff, and count. This is right is called by right system call, so I can jump to the definition of the function and jump and jump call right later. Okay. And I could find right iter function in call right iter function and it's dynamic so I have to analyze the source code or insert debug log. In this case I have inserted debug log to the one before right iter and the result is this. We know the right iter meaning pipe right function now. Pipe right function. Okay, pipe right function is found. And scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay. I could find pipe buffalo can match flag. Do you remember this? This flag is the cause of vulnerability. So this function is very interesting and the pipe buffer is maybe exist in this function. Let's search in detail. First, click as a reminder of the writing size by the page size. If the writing page size is divisible by page size or cannot be written, it must be written in the next area. And then, it gets the buffer of the current area. If pipe buffer can match is set, or there are enough space to write that this data is matched by copy page from it there. And this source code process reminding data which has to write to next area. And blah 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 blah. Increment the pipe head to write the next area in 505. And here, mask means page size, mask means page size, so this array is circulating in taking bit wise. If area is can mask, pi buffer can mask is set. And here is the backlog. Pipe read is very similar code, the difference of pipe light incrementing pipe tail instead of pipe head. Next. Let's search Sprite system call using syscall macro. Syscall define macro. Syscall define Sprite. Okay. And there, six arguments. Uh, FD, off in, off out. FD out, off out, learn flags. And open in, fs splash.c fs splash.c this call define 6 splash ok and it's calling this price and this price oops this price Okay, in this case, input is a file and output is pipe. So, O pipe is true and I pipe is false. O pipe is true. And splash file to pipe. And this press too. And calling this. Okay, I inserted debug log to find this function. Okay, I found generic file 
press read generic file press read generic file press read it's in spress.c2 spress c generic file press read okay and call read it there call read it there ah okay uh, i inserted the backlog to find this function too and it's sh main file read iter sh main file read iter okay mm sh mem file oh sh mem dot c sh mem dot c sh mem file read iter Okay, here the IOCB means input, which is a file, and the two, two, two is meaning output, which is pipe. The SH mem, the SH mem, SH mem, where is SH mem? Huh? SH, ah, SH mem get page, get page address of the input file to page. The copy page to iter, copy page to iter. The copy page to iter makes the pipe buffer reference to this page. The copy page to iter calling, copy page to iter pipe. Okay, I found pipe buffer. This function get buffer from the pipe buffer. Uh, pipe buffer here, here, and links the input file page here, here. Let's check the behavior of the link buffer. First of all, the link buffer is written sixteen times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, blah, blah. And pipe head is increased and the flag is 0x10. Pipe head is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, increased. And next, the link buffer is read 16 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The pipe tail is increased. The Flag has been 0x10 yet. The link buffer is written 16 times again. 17, 18, 19, 20. You can see the buffer is reused because the buffer address indicates 0x0bcc00 at 17, 0x0bcc00 at 1. 0x00bcc28 at 18 0xbcc28 at 2 so you can see it's reused the next step is splice command the first page cache address is ba6a000 and 0x ff ATC5020 BPCC00, which is the first of the pipe buffer address. You can see that 17 buffer address and one buffer address. Refers to files page cache address. Files page cache address. Finally, calling the right system call again merges to the files page cache address write system call again and merge to files page cache address as a result the page cache is written without a password 
The ring buffer will not match if pi buffer can match is not set. So initialization is effective when the pi buffer is set to the file page cache address. Let's check bin libiovita.c and copy page it to their pipe function and here here is linking pipe buffer to page cache address and flag is initialization here okay Okay, make is finished and run QM. And exploit password one or DZ. Okay. You can see the flag is zero. Flags is zero. And the link buffer first address is not matched. It's not matched. Pipe buffer address, which indicates the page cache address is the x bcc00, and next data is written in bcc28 at the next write system call. And the file is not related. Thank you for watching. This vulnerability is very interesting. I'm wondering why this vulnerability is found. Please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like. See you!